Uh, welcome. Uh, today we're going to do a demonstration on a Swiss cylindrical grinder. Uh, this is pronounced in Switzerland, Chudin, uh, would be the family name, but in America we don't pronounce the T and it's normally called a Chudin. Uh, but it's actually, uh, the family name is Chudin, and in Europe that's what they would call this. Anyway, uh, we have here, uh, the machine is in the off position. Uh, it is currently wired for 440 volts. I'm going to start the hydraulics. Uh, that's the hydraulics on in there, which are mounted down inside the base of the machine, and then the grinding wheel. Uh, the controls for the grinder are all uh, centrally located here. This is the main uh, switch to start the cycle or start the, the, the infeed of the machine after you've set it all up, basically. Uh, we're going to have a, a wheel slide move forward, and we're going to have our headstock begin to rotate and the table will also start to move and the infeed will start. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that in like that. And I can stop that at any time. Uh, you probably can't see if you, unless you come around with the camera here, but the first time you turn this lever, it only begins the headstock. The next brings the slide in and then the next would actually start the table moving. So down here you can control the speed of your table. You can control a dwell uh, to, to, to stay a, a, a dwell time or a, a tarry time at each reversal. Uh, here you could set your increment. You'll notice each time we, we traverse back and forth that the hand wheel or the infeed wheel is, is moving. You can select that it moves on both sides or just the left side or just the right side. And let's see here. That's done with this control knob here. There's a double arrow. You set it to the double arrow left and right when you want it to feed both sides. And there's even a stop. Okay, so we could stop that now. If I shut my table off by turning this knob all the way down uh, and, and start this cycle, you have a plunge feed, which will give you an inc a continuous feed down to zero. The end of the cycle, you retract it. The slide goes back about uh, 50 millimeters or about two inches and your infeed amount um, has retracted. Now if that's not enough for you, you just simply back this off when you disengage this chuck, uh, this clutch, and this infeed can be variably you know, slowed down to just about nothing. Can't go into every little detail in a video. Uh, there is a, a, some way of adjusting the actual uh, final size. You also have a fine adjustment on the side of the machine here that allows you to, to change this by, uh, by millionths of an inch. Stop pin here. All right, here's your tailstock. If we move on up on the machine, tailstock. And this unit here, if you look at this, uh, this is a fold-down uh, ID attachment. Uh, I'm going to have to take the tailstock off, usually when you're going to grind with one of these. So, put this over here. Uh, there's a little lock on the side of this that uh, puts more or less tension on it. But there is a big spring, so it can't really drop on you. And I know that it's going to clear everything. This gets folded down. And there's a lock in the back that it has to be in. And then you could uh, come... Normally you bring it forward all the way forward and there's a mechanical device in the rear of the machine called the retraction limitation device. Uh, you have to screw that part in there and tighten up that screw so that at the end of your internal grinding cycle uh, as you're going back and forth here you can still have an infeed but at the end of the cycle like this uh, the wheel head could go back so there is a, a safety device uh, which is common on all these grinders so that when you're internal grinding you will not have this rapid in and out otherwise it's a potential for you know an obvious accident so uh, that's everything there this folds back up out of the way once you unlock it and you can actually uh, just give this a little tightening on there so it stays up uh, I can't think of much else. This is a little uh, fixed stop here. You can fold this up and you can move this down. And uh, this acts as this acts as a, as a fixed stop. If you were grinding up against the shoulder, it's very nice to have. 
And that's it.